So when we decided to make the transition to downtown, it was because, you know, Pastor Rick and everyone in church always says, you have to join a small group. And so we, every Sunday we'd hear that and we're like, why aren't we in a small group? And we're going to Palmetto Bay for over two years and we still had never joined a small group. So that's why we decided maybe we'll try something that's closer to home and we can try to get more involved. Because when we came to downtown, everyone was so welcoming to us. You know, we got to meet Gideon and Abby who have been such a blessing to our lives and we can't have wished for a better experience coming to a church. And you know, getting to know them and all the people in the church community really made us just want to stick our feet here and just stay here. At first, I was a little bit hesitant to really dive in and get involved. And at first, I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to walk and, and lead Rachel on that path. And I was fine doing that. But didn't know what, I, what you're really missing out by walk, walking with others and having that community approach. And that's what, when we found it, we knew this is different. Uh, recently, Rachel and I went through a very tragic storm. I'm very thankful that our, my small group was there for us. They, were, they prayed over us. They pointed us into as to scriptures that we can read, and they, they poured into us in, in times when we needed the most. Being involved in the group allowed me to make the connection that I needed to be at peace with the situation. And that's something that is huge in allowing Rachel and myself to move forward and just really to continue. You can't, on this journey, you, you can't do it alone. So I feel like my small group definitely is my family now. What you look for when you're developing a family is having those brothers and sisters in Christ to walk that path with.